Pancreatic cancer is considered one of the most difficult cancers to treat and with a five-year survival rate of only 11 percent. Mm. Researchers at Duke University are trying to change that, though. Yeah, they're studying a new potential treatment. The research is still in the very early stages, but as CBS 17's Maggie Newland explains, the results appear promising so far. My dad, Ron Hillen, was uh, the life of the party, had a really big personality, uh, never met a stranger. Thoughts of her dad make Laurel Engel smile, but alongside her many happy memories, she remembers noticing something was wrong. I was actually going out the door for my first day of fifth grade and hugged him goodbye um, and realized that his eyes were yellow. It wasn't long before doctors diagnosed him with pancreatic cancer. My dad died after a two and a half year battle. It's extremely lethal. There aren't any good options. Jeffrey L. Shaw is looking for better treatment options for pancreatic cancer. He and Duke biomedical engineering professor Ashutosh Chilkoti recently published a study on a potential new method for treating pancreatic cancer, which would deliver radiation directly to the tumor using a gel-like substance. That would be combined with chemotherapy. Shaw says it's often difficult to get drugs to pancreatic tumors with traditional treatments. Tumors are like forts. Um, you have the tumor cells themselves, which, which is what you're trying to target and kill, but they tend to erect a lot of barriers, trenches. Um, they actually obstruct and uh, with the blood vessels that enter the tumor. I think it was a chain link fence or walls that you erect um, as a defensive barrier to protect the tumor cells. These are incredibly dense in pancreatic cancer. Normally, that can prevent drugs or radiation from effectively targeting the tumor, but... Because we're implanting the radiation inside the tumor and it's going to be continuous, we could actually break down some of these delivery barriers. In mice, he says the method was extremely effective. The results were incredibly encouraging. There are still more studies necessary before the treatment can be tried in people. Shaw says if all goes well, researchers may target human trials in the next few years. Realistically, best case scenario, two years, but probably two, two and a half. There needs to be more treatment options. Laurel, who now works with children whose parents are battling cancer, says she's hopeful pancreatic cancer patients will one day have more effective treatments. I would love that survival rates be much longer. So families can have more time with those they love. Time she wishes she'd had with her dad. He's absolutely missed every single day. Maggie Newland, CBS 17 News.